Hey nail friends, Courtney here, and today I wanna to show you my new favorite way to do marble with gel polish. Let's check it out. There are endless ways to do marble with gel polish. I even have a couple videos already on this channel. This is my new favorite way, and I'll probably be doing it like this for a while. So the colors that I'm using today are from Blue Sky, the black is 80518. It's just a standard black and the white is called Studio White. Um, it's not great for full coverage, but it does the job and that's the one that I have. So I'm using that today. So now I've painted this now with the Studio White and it's cured. So it is tacky. What I want to do now is use a striping brush or a detail brush to apply some black onto the nail. It doesn't really matter at this point where you apply the black. You just want to make sure that some of it is more focused in one area. That's probably too much. So I like to start in one corner and just taper it down into nothing. Next, I'm going to be using some isopropyl alcohol. You can probably use acetone for this as well, but I have alcohol, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Now, I've got this brush here. This is, I think it's a 3D acrylic brush, but I did do some of these designs just using the same technique with this brush as well. So you can just use a regular brush if you want and just find it a bit easier to use this one. So for the first layer of the marble, you really want to thin out the polish. So I'm taking the alcohol quite heavily and just really thinning out the black. I'm also removing the black from my brush as I go along because when I go in, I want to thin it out even more. So I'm just randomly, abstractly going in and breaking up the solid black lines. Take the black out of my brush. This is the first layer. You want to do a few layers. That's the beauty of marble, is that it's very layered and it's quite dimensional. So once you're quite happy with the thinness, I'm going in with my dry brush and picking up parts of that alcohol because it doesn't dry immediately and so I can suck it up with the bristles of my brush. So that is the first layer. I know it doesn't look like much but that's the idea of the marble that I'm doing is less is more. So that's going to go in the light for 60 seconds, give that a good cure and then we'll come back and do our second layer. For the first layer, it didn't really matter where you put the black and we used a lot of alcohol. For the second layer, you want to start planning your design and use less alcohol. So I'm going to do the same pattern that I did on the first layer because that's what I'm used to doing and I'm quite comfortable with it. When I put it on, I don't go in a really straight line. I want it to be jaggy and uneven, some bits to be thicker than other bits. Um, just really throw it on there. Now, once you get that on, and you can use either this brush or you can use this brush. I'm gonna clean it, but I don't want it sopping wet with alcohol. Now I'm gonna go in and push the brush into the black. And as I pull it back, it leaves like a faded ombre look. I want to make sure that I don't have a lot of black polish on my brush when I'm doing this. When the lines are really thin, like they are here, you don't wanna to push too far into it because it will just disappear. So just give it a little push about, knock it around, make it even more uneven. I don't really like the look of this section here so I'm gonna knock it about a bit more. Now 
Now I'll come at it from the other side and do the same thing. I'm just pushing the brush in and as I pull the brush out it's dragging some of the polish and then I'll get rid of the polish on my brush and just do that the whole way down on both sides. It's up to you how much black you have on the nail. You can have it come off into a few different directions or you could have just one line of black. It's really the beauty of marble is that it's never going to be the same twice um, and it doesn't really matter what you do. I'm just cleaning my brush off here. Have fun with it. Play around with it. You can make some bits brighter white like that by using a really clean brush. There, I'm pretty happy with that. Make sure that all of the nail is dry from the alcohol. Don't rub it, obviously, because you'll rub off the black. But once that's dry, the alcohol has evaporated, then you can put it in the light to cure. Um, and then you can go on to do some glitter or some additional layers. I've done, this one here has glitter pieces in it. I just stuck some randomly. I've done it in a couple of different colors as well as you can see. You can do it in any color. I did it in purple on my nails yesterday. This was with a pinky red. This one here was with my favorite nude color. Oh, there it is. Um, and this one I did kind of like a rose quartz with a pink base and the white and I used an iridescent pink over top of the white to give it that rosy quartz color. So you can do this with any color that you want and you can add glitter. If you want glitter, you could do a third layer now. You could even come in with some white if you wanted um, and do the same technique as your second layer. Push that around and that will give it even more dimension if you wanted to add a bit of glitter you could do that now I mean, it's up to you what you do for your marble, but these are just some ideas that I have for you. So I'll put that in the light to cure for a final 60 seconds, and then I'm going to put a layer of top coat on that, and we're done. So here's the finished marble with a little bit of glitter and a little bit of white. I know I said I was going to put top coat on it, but I thought I could show you now how to use the striping tape because I put that on my nail yesterday. And a few people asked me, how do I get it to stay? So I'll show you on my nail what I've done to make it stay. Let me get something I can point with. So the important thing when you're using striping tape is to cut it just short of where the nail finishes. So you can see that I haven't gone the whole way. Oh God, that's got gel on it. I haven't gone the whole way to the edge of my nail. It's sitting just shy of where the nail finishes. And on this side, it should be the same as well. It's not 
all the way to the edge of my nail. It's just shy. So when you top coat it, put the top coat past where the striping tape finishes and then it should stay secure. You can also use a stripe, blah, not a stripe, a rubber top coat or a rubber base coat as well. And that will help to secure the striping tape too. So these are on a sheet. You can also get them in rolls like this. But I prefer these ones that come on a sheet because they have, I don't know if you can tell, but they have a really thin, clear layer of tape on either side of the silver. You can almost just see it on the edge of my knuckle there. So when you stick that on the nail, that part of the tape sticks as well. Whereas the ones that come on the roll are just sticky on the, the silver part. So it's a little bit more tricky to get them to stick. So just stick it on your nail, get it where you want it. And then use your scissors to cut it just short of the nail. So this side you can see it's just past the nail and a lot of people might overlook that and think that's okay. But it won't be okay. So you want to cut it so that there is a tiny, tiny gap just between the edge of the nail and the striping tape. like that. So this is a really nice addition to marble I think. It's quite popular. I've done it quite a few times on actual people when I was working in the salon. I'm using two different sizes of striping tape as well. This one's a bit thicker just like I did on my nail. So we'll stick these on Make sure that they're pressed down. Also, if you have trouble positioning your striping tape, you can put them over top of top coated nails. <clears throat> Sometimes that is easier. So if you can't get it to lay in the right spot, you're finding it's not sticking, then top coat the nail first, cure it, and then put the tape on and top coat it again. we go. That is one marble nail top coated and striping taped. I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch me do fun stuff on my nails. I'll see you next time.